Yo, guys. What's going on? Um, I'm sure everyone knows the news. Um, obviously, by the title of this video, you guys know what I'm going to talk about. Kobe Bryant passing away today at the age of 41. Um, my favorite basketball player growing up. I had to do this one again because the, the first video I did, I was I was just crying the whole time. But I wanted to, you know, do a better job at, at speaking my mind and, and, and you know, talking about this. But uh, it's, I, I've been a Laker fan my whole life. I grew up into it. I was born in 97. I obviously was growing up. I was a little kid in the first championships. I was uh, I was in middle school for the, for the two championships after that, 2009, 2010. Kobe fan my whole life. Obviously, I was the one always saying, Kobe Bryant's the greatest player of all time. Kobe Bryant's better than LeBron. Kobe Bryant's awesome. I, 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 growing up, you know, he inspired me to to be the best I, I could be. And everything I ever did, I remember every day just, just watching the, the Kobe Bryant highlight videos, being like, oh, "I want to be just, I want to be just like Kobe, I want to be just like Kobe Bryant." I <laughs> well, I hope one day I get to meet him. I remember saying, "Like, damn, like I, I would cry if I ever met Kobe Bryant. I wouldn't even know what to say." Every day, I remember. You know, I wasn't the most athletic kid growing up. I wasn't really athletic at all, to be completely honest. I wasn't athletic in any way. <laughs> but I would watch those Kobe videos of him getting up at 5 a.m. And they would inspire me to get up and go play basketball. And I'd go play basketball every day. And then I, I, I watch all his games. And I just want to say it's it's very tough, you know. It's a tough day in Los Angeles. It's a tough day being a Laker fan and Kobe fan my whole life. I, I never would. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I will never get to meet Kobe. But uh, you can see my, my posters right there. That's a poster when he, uh, his last game. And then that's a poster of different 2K. 2K17, him saying bye. And I remember crying on his last game. I remember crying when he tore his Achilles. I remember just... You know, it's a good thing I let out my tears in the past video because you know, I'm, I'm able to be a little bit more composed right now. <sighs> but yeah. Uh, rest in peace to Gianna as well. Um, his daughter. It's just, it's just tough, man. I've been, cr been crying for the past, like, Two, four, four, two hours, whatever long, probably three hours now. Um, he inspired me every day to be the best I could be, and he'll continue to inspire me. I'll, I'll continue to be inspired. He'll continue to inspire everyone to be the best we can be, to be to be strong. We we know Kobe, Kobe right now wouldn't let this stop him. You know, whatever it is you're doing, he wouldn't let this stop him from doing what what. You know, to be the best. <sighs> yeah. Um, I just want to say rest in peace to Kobe, Gianna, and my condolences to his wife and his three surviving kids. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't have much else to say, but just rest in peace to Kobe.